So Etude for the Dreamer actually took me two years to finish composing. And I still consider it one of my most technically challenging songs to play and perform. When I write music, I'm deeply emotionally tied to the songs and the reasons why I wrote them and the stories behind the songs. I always wanted to film a music video for Etude for the Dream. In fact, I've had a Pinterest board for over five, at least five years of ideas. I don't know, I wanna say seven years now. I've had, anyways, I've had this Pinterest board for a very long time and it was always a project I had in the back of my mind. I always wanted to do it one day if I could. So my concept for the music video for the song has definitely evolved over the years. At one point I had this idea of doing a video where I'd put my piano on water. And then of course, several other artists did it before I had a chance to do it. And I miss the days when I was young and naive. And so by the time other artists had already been putting pianos on water and filming it and <laughs> making incredible videos, I kind of felt like, well, I can't do that now because then it'll look like I was copying them. So a year ago during COVID, I had this idea to film at this beautiful pond. Miley and I are music video scouting. I found this absolutely idyllic location that is just stunning. There was this perfect little peninsula that went out into the middle of a pond. I mean, just surrounded by dragonflies and cat's tails and flowers and just, it was just so dreamy. And the little spot in the middle of the pond was just the perfect place to put my piano. We had it all planned to film and then actually the week that we were supposed to film, we had this freeze and everything we were supposed to film, the cat's tails, the beautiful flowers, the trees, the, all the leaves came off the tree. And we had to cancel the shoot. <laughs> but sometimes things happen for a reason and this actually gave me more time to work on my concept for this video. So instead of a simple performance video where I'm playing in the middle of a pond, I started imagining what this dream world would look like. I came up with this idea that was inspired both by the lockdown of the pandemic, this feeling of being trapped and being so stressed out by the state of the world, the anxiety, the panic, just all of it. And then what if you were able to escape that world and go to a place of dreams where there is just all of this beautiful, vibrant color and beauty and nature? And then, because if that wasn't enough, I started to imagine what it would be like to incorporate the world of fairy tales into this. And at first, it was just one or two fairy tales, and then it turned into more. <laughs> this video was a massive undertaking for me. It's the most costume changes. It's the most makeup. This is not Jennifer on Jennifer's phone. It's like 7.30 in the morning. We are shooting the most difficult makeup and hair scene today for me, which is all this crazy makeup stuff. Wash the makeup off. Because we are picking up our kids from school and going to Taylor's cross country meet. And I don't wanna scare. Parents. Taylor, is that your mom? Does she think it's Halloween? The most different scene, locations. All right, we're in the forest where we shot Carol of the Bells. Just back there, I, I look like a frosted cupcake. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> We're finally ready to go shoot in a beautiful location. The most props I've ever done. It took several months preparing props, finding little gems off of Etsy and eBay. Finding artwork, creating the scenes and more. We've been working on creating this today. It's coming along. We're gonna put the piano over here. Today we are moving my piano to the garage. Oh, this one, not that one. This piano is from Illumination and it's been in my living room for years. How strong he is. to my New York City apartment. So the filming for this video took a few months to pull off. Taylor came home from his cross country meet on Friday with just a stuffy nose. He thought, oh, it's just allergies because he's prone to allergies. He even like ran cross country that day. <laughs> anyway, so home, gave him a COVID test like within the first minute, like big fat positive. Blah. So of course I had like a total anxiety attack. Like I started like freaking out because I do struggle with like a little bit of like germ OCD. Hello? Are you in here, bud? Oh. <laughs> How are you doing? Should you turn the light on? I get like really bad anxiety if I know I've been exposed or my family's been exposed to something. My mind just goes to like the worst catastrophic scenarios. Anyway, and on top of that, I'm supposed to shoot a music video tomorrow and we've been planning this for months. In fact, it's this shoot I canceled last year because of the weather. And so this is like the second year that we've been trying to film this video. It's for Etude for the Dreamer. I have, I have one of my patrons who actually flew into town for this shoot. I've also scheduled a makeup artist and everything and my makeup artist has a newborn so I can't like expose her. So anyways, we've been testing like every day. Thankfully so far like my other two boys have been negative. No one's had symptoms. I've been testing every day and I'm negative. But Seriously. <laughs> oh my gosh. Actually, I'm taking video. Yes. Hello, dear. When you get a moment, Jenny, there's a crescent wrench. In the crescent room. wrench. <laughs> the only tool. Would like the crescent wrench, please. <laughs> is this a crescent wrench? Yeah, a crescent wrench. Okay. Yeah. I don't right. even think like this. Yeah. Like a. Yes. This is what I look like. All right, so we're loaded up with dresses and props and piano trailer pants right there. Um, and we're gonna shoot the video today. I've been excited to shoot this for a while, so here goes. 
Don't you just love this? Perfect. Awesome. Can we do that one more time? When I say one more time, that means I messed up, you didn't mess up. <laughs> A little bit to get your hair. <laughs> okay. Were you able to see it shimmering? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So with this one, can you come down pretty low before you blow? I mean, you can blow it past her, but... You can't laugh! <laughs> Taking it for the team! <laughs> wow. Actually, it wipes off this one. Okay. Uh, okay, yep. I got it. Okay, action. Oh, it yeah, came up too fast for me. I'll come up first. I'll say action. Three, two, one, action. Do we have access to the music? Is that is your phone locked, Jenny? I don't have it. Oh, you don't have your phone? I don't know where her phone is. <laughs> you want me to go look up for Do you just want to play? Um, we don't, or is that? Play. Okay. Yeah, I can just play. Okay. Tell me yep. when you're ready. Ready. And that's a wrap. For most of the scenes that we filmed, we would send our kids off to school and then hurry, get our stuff together, get ready, drive out to a location, film for a few hours. And then rush back to get home before our kids got off the school bus. Yeah. This was also one of the most challenging videos for me to edit. I just had so much footage to go through. It was overwhelming. You got your Jack Sparrow run. <laughs> what? You got your Jack Sparrow run. <laughs> like feminine. <laughs> Action. 
contemplative. We got sun flare there. Okay. They're so wide. So wide. Angle. <laughs> you are PMS -y. There is no. <laughs> Can't say anything right. It was also just challenging to take all of these fairy tales and the storylines and make it make sense. How did my character go from a New York City apartment to the middle of a forest? Or how does it make sense that I was just in Hansel and Gretel, but now I'm Little Red Riding Hood? <laughs> but I suppose when you're in a dream world, it doesn't have to make sense. Also, how do I go from this dream world back to reality? It has to make sense to the person watching it, and that was really challenging for me to tie everything together and have it make sense to you guys. In the end, what I ended up with was more of a short film with an intro, performance, storyline, and outro. Try one more time. I can't hear you. Try not to get too many nostril shots. Okay. You're doing so good. <laughs> My fingers are gonna fall off. Take one for the team. Okay, I'm gonna go. And action. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got okay. it? Okay. okay. friend Glenn Gabriel accepted the challenge to create a magical film score for the intro and outro on these scenes and I thought it was so appropriate since he had originally helped out with some of the additional orchestration on Etude for the Dreamer. Another really fun aspect to this project is I went to Los Angeles and was able to have Ryan McNeil color grade the video, which he did such a beautiful job on this. It's just stunning. I am at Archeum Studios to do some color grading for a couple of upcoming music videos. And this is the office space. We're gonna walk back into here. There's Ryan, he's the colorist. Also my friend. Oh. <laughs> um, I've known Ryan and Becky for a very long time. They're good friends and they're super talented at what they do. Ryan also has a part of the story of this album because 10 years ago, after I scored the music for his short film, Minuet, directed my music video for Requiem for a Dream. Well, I mean, I, 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 I have a little canty right now if you want to look at it. Because I was going to say, like, it might be kind of slow. And since then, he has been involved in many, many of my other projects. director, colorist. Uh, I'm Ryan McNeil, I'm the director. It sort of felt like coming full circle to have him do the color grading on Etude for the Dreamer as well. This is Ryan, he is doing some color grading on my video. And a lot of people don't know what color grading is. I always get asked 
really ugly raw footage and he's putting color back into it and tweaking it and making it all pretty pulling out stuff putting in stuff he's actually adding some light rays to my forest and it looks so much better and i really don't know how he does what he does but i like it i like it a lot and as you can see from some of these comparison shots he really adds so much magic to these scenes with his eye for color I'm so grateful for this album and what it's done for my music career. I'm so grateful to all of you, especially those of you who have been with me since the beginning and have been cheering me on. I couldn't have done this without you. And to anyone new here, welcome and thank you. Alright, let's turn this off. And action. <laughs> you can come back. <laughs> okay, action. <laughs> action. 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 Okay, action. There you go. Action. 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 All right. Scary crow and action. Wow. Well. <laughs> Can I run slower? Uh, yeah. Action. Action. And action. One action. We'll do one more with your right hand. Show me your whole dress and then... Okay.